like two kinds of problems are available in normal distribution mu 1 sigma square is given you have to find the area something like this or less than z1 etc now today you will be given area how to find mu 1 sigma square this is our today's topic so now listen i have to find two different data that is mu and sigma square or sometimes people ask mu and sigma that is mean and standard deviation for this one area is not enough for me so in my problem so two data will be given data one something less than data two maybe less than or greater than or some relations will be given from this we have to find two equations okay which is involving something like this suppose i'm considering a1 b1 c1 and then a2 mu b2 sigma c2 so i am saying this uh, at the end of your problem you have to bring like this very important constant should be in the right hand side so if you bring this two equations you can easily find the values of mu and sigma that's what our required result now let us see how to do this with our calculator so take your calculator and then press for more and you can see eqn something this like choose the option eqn so when you choose you can see unknowns so two or three here we are going to find only two unknowns that is my first unknown is mu and my second unknown is sigma so press two so once you press two the calculator will ask the a1 value press it then press equal to button then b1 value then c1 value very important the a1 b1 should be in left hand side and my c1 should be in the right hand side of the equation if we do in a different way then if suppose my c1 is in left hand side so you will put negative it will become an error so once you enter a1 b1 c1 calculator will again ask a2 b2 c2 so once you did immediately you will get uh, the solution the first answer is going to be suppose for example x1 is 2.33 x2 is 1.49 so since our concern we take the first variable as mu so this is going to be our mu and this is going to be our sigma that's it students